Alright, um, I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to optimize downloads for uTorrent. Um, I already have mine pretty much optimized, but I just want to show my friend some little things you can do to uh, make his downloads go a little bit quicker. First thing that we probably should do is to uh, determine how good our connection is, our network connection. So the best way to probably do this, other than just checking your ISP package, would be to uh, go to a site like speedtest.net. And at this site, you can basically choose um, a location near you and ping it and basically get your uh, down speed and up speed, which would we need to determine other settings that we're going to configure. So being in the San Marcos region, I'd select the uh, orange little pyramid here, San Marcos, and run the test. Um, I already ran the test to save some time. I got uh, about 14,500 down, and let's go with 1,200 up. So I'm going to go ahead and reference these and um, write it down really quick. We'll go with 14,500, 200, okay. This would be my down speed and this would be my up speed, okay. And um, right now I'm running a broadband package with the Grande Communication ISP. So I mean, that, that's pretty decent right there, but we're going to use that to uh, determine how we're going to set everything else up. So um, that's the first step to get our down and up speeds. And uh, next, we'll go ahead and set up a static IP. Uh, generally, systems are configured to run uh, dynamic IPs. Basically, the uh, it, it gathers IP randomly and it can alternate over time. But we're going to set up a static one, meaning that it shouldn't ever change. Um, we go ahead and specify the uh, IP address we'd wish to use through network settings. So let's go ahead and um, soap up the command prompt right here. That'll be CMD in the uh, start run option. And um, should pop a little black box. And then from there, you want to type in ipconfig slash all. And hit enter. Okay. Um, this basically gives you all your system's information, your network information. Then you got your host name, your current IP address, and so forth. So what we basically need is this bottom part. So um, probably the best way to approach this would just right mouse click uh, mark and it's highlighted all. I'm just going to go and highlight everything just in case. And just right mouse click on it to copy. Open up a blank document and just paste it in there. You should have all the information you need right there. Uh, you can go in and exit out of a uh, command prompt for now. And now that we have this information, we need to open up our uh, network settings. We can go to uh, start and then control panel and from there go to your network connections and you should see some Ethernet devices listed, uh, local air connection most likely. You may only have one, you may have multiple. Um, I have two Ethernet ports on my motherboard, so um, I'm currently using this one for my static, this one's my dynamic. Um, it should show a status of connected so you know that's your primary Ethernet controller. So um, once you find your con your um, your connection, just right left right mouse, right mouse click on it, sorry. Uh, go to properties and then you should be in the general tab. Scroll all the way to internet protocol TCP IP left click on and go to properties and uh, normally it will be obtain an IP address automatically uh, that's how most systems default to um, what we want to do is set up a static IP so we use the uh, use the following IP address and in this field we'll want to enter in the IP address we currently have um, but it's best to uh, change the last set of characters or last set of digits um, maybe just by one, two, three, but just keep it in the range of uh, 0 and 255. So um, let's just say, for example, we had an IP address of 192.169.0.12 listed in your command prompt when you did IP config. Um, the one you'd probably want to specify within there would be like 192.169.0 and then just make it like, I don't know, 110 or something, or maybe just add a 0 to it. So basically you'll get that IP address and you'll just enter it in here. You'll do the one that was listed in the command prompt and just alter that last set of uh, characters. And then after that, you'd want to enter in the subnet mask that was listed, which would be located here. So 255, 255, 255, 0 in my case. And then default gateway should be listed there as well. You want to enter that as it was listed. And um, for the DNS servers, um, it's probably best to use the ones listed in your command prompt. What I do is, um. I uh, use a different DNS server rather than my ISP's DNS server because they're a little bit faster, I think. Um, if, if you want, you can use your ISP's one already listed, or you can um, use these ones right here that I put. These are pretty good DNS servers right here, and they should boost your connection a little bit. So the DNS service I currently have listed would be 20867, 222, and that's also a 220 in there. 
2220. And this is also about to do two. Let's copy this. Okay, so those are the two uh, optimized DNS servers if you wish to use them. Otherwise, you can just use your own. And um, once you do that, you want to just OK out of this. And you should have your static IP address set up and ready to go. Okay, um, the next thing we want to do is alter our TCP settings. Um, these are basically your systems connection settings. Um, these are outside of the application on like a, the operating system itself. So um, generally, a lot of settings are defaulted to a, a safe yet somewhat slow configuration. So what we're going to do is optimize that a little bit. Um, and it should be stable as well. Um, this is best for if you're using broadband connection. It's best to follow these along. If you're using like old school dial-up or really shitty connection, it's probably best just to avoid this. Um, this is when it's going to come in handy to use the uh, down and up seeds we had earlier. I believe mine was 14. Let's say 400 and 112. I'm, I think I'm not sure. Anyways, that should be fine. Um, okay, so basically to alter these, it, you can do it through the registry yourself, which isn't really. I mean, it's kind of inefficient, especially if you don't know how to do it. So, um, the best approach would be using an application. Uh, there's two, well, there's one application we're going to use and also another patch. TCP Optimizer is a fairly well known piece of software. A lot of people use it. And you can go to this URL right here. I'll put in the uh, description as well. And that's where you can download TCP Optimizer. I'm not even sure it's an install. I think it's actually just, it, it launches as is. So, let me go and open up the interface for TCP Optimizer. Optimizer, one second. Uh, right here. Okay. Um, basically, all you need to mess with is the general settings tab. <clears throat> You'll drag this to your your DL speed, your download speed. Uh, mine was clocked at uh, 14 for 14,400. Looks like it's kind of low actually. So um, the best thing to do is probably select optimal settings and just drag it to uh, where you want to go. Um, in my case, it'd be 14,000. I'd rather go under than over, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with that. And make sure optimal settings is selected. Uh, once you do that, you also want to make sure your uh, network adapter is selected. I believe my right one's selected. Yeah, it is. That's my IP address. Um, after you do that, just apply changes. You know, give you a list of stuff you want to do, backup, doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, and ask you to reboot. Um, in your instance, it's best to reboot. In mine, I'm not because I'm recording something right now, so I'm going to go and say no. And just exit out of that. Um, next thing you want is the Level Lord uh, TCP uh, patch. This basically uh, ch alters the uh, default half open TCP connection settings in Windows itself um, from the generic 10 up to 50 or 100, however much you specify. I already took the liberty of downloading it, so I can just run it directly. Should be my installs. And it'll come in a zip file, just extract the application itself. And it'll show up a command prompt. And it'll show my current. My current's already 50, so it's kind of pointless. But um, it's basically going to ask you, do you want to change it to 10 or 50? Uh, it's showing 10 right now because mine's already set to 50. And you basically want to follow along with the uh, text-based instructions. Um, it'll give you a Y, so you just hit Y and enter. And follow this through until it's done. And it'll probably ask you to reboot as well. So once you're done with that, you can just exit out of it and you should be good as far as TCP settings go.